Welcome Libra for your monthly horoscope for June for the Sun or the Ascendant. If you're new to my channel I'd be honoured if you would subscribe. Please click or tap on the bell notification symbol. You can also connect with me direct on Twitter at Horoscope Ace. If you'd like to sign up for my free monthly astrology magazine or your daily horoscope please see the link beneath this video. If you're interested in having a one-to-one -one and embracing more serious astrology then please see my testimonials beneath this video. We continue to live in a very serious time for planet Earth, a time that will be discussed for many years to come. Now different countries have responded to the crisis in different ways and some people are emerging from lockdowns, others they're much more stridently being imposed. So I'm going to try to take in all scenarios in this video. But for you this month begins with the Sun in your sister air sign of Gemini and alongside is your ruler for the first five days. Yes Venus. Venus is glorious. It's what gives you that supreme appreciation of colour, of texture, of clothes, of interior design. You know you really do have an opportunity to explore with this conjunction between the Sun and Venus at the start of the month. And you could find yourself chatting to someone about a cultural interest you have. Uh, about something to do with a craft or art uh, fascination or it may be in a more personal context perhaps even from a relationship perspective. But if you do don't be surprised if it's someone who's a bit different uh, from the type of person you've connected with before. If you're in a relationship and it isn't working quite so well I do feel that this retrograde that's going on with Venus right through till the 25th of the month is going to be a time when you're really trying to check out the validity of this person being in your life. But certainly there is a chance to see things in an upbeat way when the Sun and Venus are together. So if you are fortunate enough to connect to someone through technology or where you are more personally it could have some magic attached to it. Now all this month Jupiter and Pluto are pretty tightly bound together in your sector of home, emotion and family. Is something changing around this area of life for you? You know are you wanting to move but can't because of COVID-19 or are you using the if you like uh, need to stay closer to home to be renovating or changing elements of your home based existence. Have you switched your work tool there, uh, to there? If that's the case we're still being asked because of the deconstructing energies of Pluto to try to find ways to make the situation become more productive. So you could change something and it could actually be something that does have some real benefits. But equally there may be something that needs to be let go of around your emotional situation which has served its greater purpose. Only you could judge exactly what that is but I do think it's going to come sharply into focus from the 22nd through to the end of the month. Now Mars is a magnificent uh, player in our planetary system because it's about passion, it's about desire, it's also about hard work. And in the sixth solar house as it begins this month this ordinarily would give you a real opportunity to be very very brusque, um, detailed, energised in your approach. But it is alongside Neptune through to the 18th and that does carry some inherent risks. As you know Neptune has been in your sector of service since 212 and there may have been times when you felt that you've kind of given it almost a bit too much to others without getting much back. Now Mars can help you to stiffen up your boundaries a little bit but the two are going to be in conflict with the Sun through to the 18th. Now the Sun square Mars can make us impatient, it can make us a bit ragged and I think for you it could see you almost trying to do too much. So one of the tricks this month for you I think is going to be narrowing your focus and 
prioritizing the practical things you need to achieve. Also, welcoming the things that create a bit more space and freedom for you and not getting too tied down to obligations and responsibilities. Now that's not easy when we're juggling with the world of work as we have over the last few months. Everybody's having to bend and flex to deal with this significant change in our situation. But you need to be careful because if you try to have too much freedom, you could find something gets out of balance. If on the other hand, you're too applied to helping others, you could start to feel quite resentful. And that can all come up to the boil on the back of the annular lunar eclipse on the 5th of this month, which happens in the sign of Sagittarius. Keep the lines of communication open the best you can, but do look after your nervous system. Try to get plenty of early nights, take some B complexes if you feel it would be good for you. Some magnesium can also ease the nervous system. But from the 18th of this month, Mercury does go into a retrograde. Now Mercury starts this month very, very well for you. It links beautifully to Uranus. And this can give you um, a, a real enthusiasm for an idea or a way of being or a purposefulness, which is really quite individual and different. But once Mercury starts to go into retrograde, I think around your work, there can be a bit of a stop start dimension. This can be helped by the sun moving on the 20th into Cancer. And then we have a solar eclipse a very powerful one because it's on the world point, naught degrees Cancer on the 21st. But that's also going to link in a tense way to that planet Saturn, yes, which is all about structures. Now Saturn and more recently Mars have been pushing you to be more creative, but in a way which gives you some lasting benefits where you can see the structure of the flair that you've shown. So when it comes to your work, if you're needing to make some changes, I, either where you work from, who you work for, who your clients are, where you might find gainful employment in terms of dealing with COVID-19, I think you may have to compromise a little bit. I don't think necessarily it's going to be exactly as you would like. Now, sorry if that sounds a bit uh, firm. Once Mars moves on the 28th of this month into your opposite sign, it's free of that watery, wet, dousing influence of Neptune, and it's going to fire you up. So as you come to the end of this month, you can be much more assertive, much more competitive. And if you do need to sort of up your vibration when it comes to improving your situation, your worldly interactions, protecting your uh, personal uh, situation in terms of property, family, your social standing, then you're going to take a bit more of a rugged approach. I don't think that's a bad thing because one of your great gifts is that you're so aware and sensitive of other people, but that sometimes that can make you deferential to uh, the nth degree and sometimes it's important to know our value and that's what you're being asked to embrace as this month draws to a close and in the six months going forwards to December the 14th eclipse which is glorious for you in the sign of Sagittarius I think that that's a direction of travel where you are going to have to step outside your comfort zone but also uh, take the chance to raise your profile, even if it's a bit anti to what your normal approach has been. And Mars is gonna help you to do that for a whole big chunk while well, the rest of this year and through to the 6th of January next year. Now, of course, Mars is going to go into a retrograde from the 6th of September for 66 days. That's not particularly helpful but Mars is still giving you a lot more oomph, a lot more feistiness in the second part of this year. And along with Venus still being in the sign of Gemini through till the 29th of 
Uh, well, it's the 7th of August, but it's going to be in shadow through to the 29th of July. That's still generally quite a benefit influence for you. And remember, you have the North Node in Gemini 2. So expansion is there. It's just what's possible within this COVID-19 crisis. And knowledge is going to be important to your progress. But I think once the sun elevates into cancer, you're going to be surprised by how much more attention you attract. It can be exciting for you. So if you would like to have that one-to-one -one with me or would like to find out more about it, please check out the testimonials below. You can also buy your personal astrology reports and there is an offer, a special offer of 30% off. You can check out below. But for now, do take care, stay safe, good luck and goodbye.